Let's have a look at this far two calculation in more details. So we can see this is the accuracy of the model, but how does it work? So, so this model we have here is based on house prices. So based on the size of the house, we work out the price. So this is the actual data. And the model is a linear regression model, which is basically predicting the house prices based on the past data. So it's saying the model accuracy is 0.98. So the calculation for this is there are shorthand ways of doing it using this library in Python. But if you wanted to do it manually, this is how you do it. But the individual steps I've broken down even further. So these are your actual house prices. What you do is you guess the average. So this is the, you take the numbers, you divide them by five because there is five of them. And this is the output that you get over here. Then see how far you are from the real number if you always guess the average. So this is the average that this figure over here is now what we're doing is we're taking that house price, individual house price. So in this case, 200, 200 here minus 300, which is the average uh, guess. So this is the average price. And then you get this difference and you get these differences for all of them. And then what you do is you total up the differences. So that's now over here. And then what you do is use your model to predict the sale for each day. So now this is the predicted figure. So back in our code where we predict the house prices and these are our predictions over here. So what you get is 207 a year, for example. So these, these are our predicted values. So what you do is with the predicted values, you then work out the same thing which is how far are you all faced on the predicted value so remember here we worked out based on the average but now we are working out for each of the actual house price over here so these are the actual prices and then we are minusing based on the predicted ones over here using the model so you minus that and you get the differences over here now notice here we are squaring the differences so to make them a bit more prominent so basically penalizing the mistakes and then you basically total them up and once you've totaled them up what you do is you divide this total of the differences between the actual house price versus the predicted sum that up over here and then you divide that by your average guess and that gives you a score of 0.98 why do we divide by this number over here is your question this is what you might say is your average guess so based on if you were to randomly guess the prices versus using the model then what we're saying is this model is very good at predicting the house prices it is 98 percent better than your average guess so rather than just asking your friend to guess the house price the model that we have built using linear regression is 98% accurate versus the average user's guess. So if a user were to guess it, then we predict that based on that, we are likely to be 98% better than the guess. So that's why 394 divided by this gives you 0.98. And remember, we are doing one minus here. This is a very small percentage as take one minus this number over here, which gives you 0.98.